Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog that I have been delayed for so 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 long because I have online learning and assignments, so 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 many assignments and procrastination. That's just it. I hope you guys are having an amazing Raya and um, I hope you guys are at home and safe and healthy so today i'm going to share with you guys my uitm law school interview experience and some uh, tips and tricks for you to ace the law interview since a lot of people have been asking me this i also ada tanya di instagram di ig story um, what do you guys want to know specifically about the interview in my experience so i will be answering them in this video too but please bear in mind that um, each year the question will not be the same the question will not be the same each session okay so let's do a little background check on myself okay so i am from sabah I habis my foundation in law last year um, November 2019 and I masuk uh, I masuk asasi UITM November 2018 one year lah kan and then um, I am a uh, UITM student I am not a KPTM student um, and I'm also a second intake student because first intake in June and then you ITM ada buat second intake lagi November so I am a second intake student and dulu IIV di uh, UITM KK and Sabahan memang dia bagi IV di negeri sendiri and Sarawak dia bagi IV di negeri sendiri juga so I will share my UITM law school interview experience uh, accordingly which means that um, I will tell you guys what I do before the interview um, what I study what I prepare myself for the interview and during the interview and after the interview okay so the first step before the interview is I did a background check on the important people in the law community for example um, you need to know who is the dean of faculty of law of UITM if you uh, must do UITM and then all the people in the law community for example who is the YDPA who is the uh, as chancellor who is the attorney general who is the chief justice the chief judge of uh, chief judge and the chief judge of Sabah and Sarawak this is because um, sometimes they expect you to know about all this stuff because you mau masuk law school and then you have to know all these people in this in the law community. The panelists really really expect you to know this stuff and kalau ada orang ada mood, they will ask you. The second tip uh, before the interview is um please 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 settle your document please prepare your documents accordingly and make sure your, your documents are complete and pengesahan do not lupa pengesahan and put it in the file cantik cantik and arrange it and the staff will be happy because um you bought the punya kerja senang and Last year, in terms of document, apa ni? I have a problem with my transcript because my transcript kan dari KL, and dia macam Monday, my friend send my transcript and uh, kami punya interview Saturday, and then Friday baru dapat ah, Friday petang. My IV is Saturday jam lapan. Tapi kalau um, betul-betul tidak transkrip pun, at least you uh, cari inisiatif lain. Contohnya, you print your examination slip, same one, same two, and then replace it with that sementara. 
later on you send the um, transcript when it arrives the third tip is sedia your pakaian formal awal-awal pakaian formal means no jeans no t-shirts um, pakaian formal yang sopan lah masa my interview dulu I pakai coat attire for girls lah I pakai coat attire and then my hair tied and I wear heels and my friends my friends ada my friends from uh, KL dia pakai baju kurung juga so macam boleh baju kurung tapi jangan banyak pattern begitulah for girls and um, pakai pakaian yang sopan dan kemas sebab pemakaian ataupun pakaian melambangkan pribadi our pakaian is the first thing that the inter- interviewers will judge for lelaki um, pakai coat attire kemeja necktie and rambut kemas the next tip is search for frequently asked the basic question in an interview for example you search for um, the question about tell us about yourself and improvise how you tell the interviewers about yourself your career goals your short-term goals and then your long-term goals and next is what are your strengths and your weaknesses the next tip is um, do research about current issues nationally and globally this is the important element they want to test you on how you discuss things so let's move on to the tips and my experience during the interview okay so first tip is please datang awal okay why sebab um, kalau kita datang awal kita tidak gelabah kita tidak gelabah dan um, kalau kita datang lambat and it's already our turn pening kan and um, my own experience um, my interview pukul 8 and then I bangun pukul 4 drama kan lepas tu sampai UITM TK pukul 7 And then sempat lagi tanya-tanya semua, sempat lagi revise-revise dengan kawan-kawan semua. My expectation before I go to the interview is interview, interviewers garang, interviewers strict, interviewers all the scary stuff. And my biggest fear is that I gagap-gagap. But the reality is the interviewers are so 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 friendly and then um, I thought I was going to uh, macam gagap-gagap like that during the interview but syukur it turns out that I tidak gagap-gagap juga during the interview and I am proud of that tip yang kedua during the interview is please breakfast dulu because um, time interview tu macam you cannot keluar lagi so as for me pagi-pagi sebelum interview tu um, I singgah drive to KFC dulu and then makan and then tak tahu lagi so now I'm going to cerita all my experience um, time interview tu from A to Z I'm not A to Z so uh, bila sampai tempat interview tu candidate law student um, kena bagi two rooms one room for ruang menunggu one room for tempat interview for my session there are three panelists and two person two person will enter each session um, dia berbeza dengan my semenanjung friends lah my semenanjung friends dia macam lima orang satu kali three, uh, lima orang satu kali lah lima orang one session sebab um, law student semenanjung banyak and uh, law student Sabah Sarawak macam kurang uh, sikit so bila my friends masuk di ruang menunggu me and my friends masuk di ruang menunggu uh, they are staff yang akan collect your documents and when they collect doc- your documents make sure you buat orang punya kerja senang you just hand them the file and let them check the files and um, 
we gonna bagi one piece of paper which is the um, macam marking lah marking for marking for the panelists or the interviewers to mark our performance during the interview during the interview please be confident everyone tells me this even my seniors tells me this you must be confident but in a humble way there are three stages of the interview the first stage is the self introduction the second stage is um, the interviewers will ask you about all the things you have learned in your asati days and the third uh, stage is where they ask you and they would want to discuss with you about the current issue um, that sometimes they pick or sometimes they ask you what are the current issues for the self introduction in my experience in my session they request two things one is for you to introduce yourself and two is why law why do you want to read law so my tips for self introduction is one state your name your age where you are from your SPM results uh, your uh, maybe a little bit of your family background and okay this is important this is very important the important part is to flex your SSC result flex it okay specifically your uh, CGPA your GPA or um, how many A's you got because girl promote yourself um, next thing is are you active during your SSC days tell them that okay tell them that and promote yourself this is the time to shine this whole thing is basically for you to promote yourself to prove your work in law school okay um, the panelists or the interviewers basically want to test your communication skills and lastly I explain why I choose law you know what I wrote everything down <laughs> the tip is practice that is just it I wrote every single thing down and memorized it I am just like that I memorized every single line but not all now some I am to gitu during the self introduction they will macam uh, interviewers will uh, masuk masuk sikit juga macam they will potong potong you juga and tanya you about your background like that just jawab and then the second stage in which they ask random law things about what you have learned from your SIC days they ask me this is just random they will they will tanya daripada sem 1 sem 2 sukhati the question i got is about freedom of speech i belajar freedom of speech di semester 1 i got freedom of speech uh, dia tanya uh, freedom of speech ni absolute or not in our country and what article what article is it in our federal constitution and is it a fundamental rights and all of that and done that's just it and dia tanya apa case yang berkaitan dengan freedom of speech which is the case of um, Azmi Sharom okay and then the third stage is what are the current issues that you know but in my in my session they did not ask me what I know they just asked me on my opinion for the current issues they did not ask me to choose uh, what are the current issues that I know now instead they ask me and my friend because two people can they ask me and my friend um, do you uh, on our opinion um, on the undi 18 do you my, do you uh, agree that um, umur 18 tahun should be given the rights to mengundi and then um, you have to cepat-cepat pick sides. Much I cepat-cepat pick sides. I friend, 
my friend yang di sebelah tuh macam um, dia I pick no, she has to pick yes, like that. And then we macam discuss, discuss, discuss the issue lah, current issue. And sometimes dia tanya juga current issue globally, but in my experience no, dia tanya macam nationally. And that is just about it. Um, after macam we discuss about the current issue, um, dia terus macam okay. Uh, thank you for your opinion and um, just it was a fun interview. Dia macam sangat tidak pressure. Dia sangat bagus. The panelists are sangat bagus. And then they uh, lastly dia macam cerita pasal about themselves. Macam they are actually lecturers from uh, UITM KK. They are macam pensyara. Uh, subject law juga so macam kami cerita-cerita just like that and then um, it ends right there and then they said thank you they said I hope to see you um, in law school and everything like that um, selamat maju jaya and everything which is so good and the interview ends there and It was a fun experience. It was not scary at all. Uh, I also will write down the tips that I have down the description below so that you guys can read and hopefully, hopefully get anything out of it. And so that is all from me, guys. Thank you for watching my video, and um, I hope you pass your. Um, law degree interview and um, for those who um, are on the UITM I hope to see you around law school and good luck